So guys, welcome back to more God of War. Uh, so the only two things left to really do right now. I have went through. I actually lit all the braziers as well. I, th I think I'm saying that word right. Uh, first off, thank you guys for all the support. And I'm not even sure if I have to say it anymore, but uh, thank you, Sony, for the game. Uh, the one thing I do like when I lit all of them, nothing really happened. I I got like, I think I got XP for it. Honestly, I think that might have been the only thing. But as far as uh, what's left, as far as our current favors. Uh, I did all the trials that it's I could show those if you guys would like uh, a lot of this other stuff was just kind of go kill enemies nothing really to it I'm gonna go defeat the last Valkyrie and then we'll have the Valkyrie Queen which I'm not sure if I'll get to both in this video but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and go take care of the next Valkyrie so uh, thank you guys so much for all the support what are we on part technically 59 minus the uh, Avengers video I did that was kind of a bonus thing and I went ahead and bought let me show you my like armor and stuff. So I went through and just crafted everything. Uh, what I've found is there are a lot of things in the game that give you multiple stats as far as enchantments go. Those I feel like are the best. Somebody actually asked, they said they had all level 8 gear. Why are they not level 9? Uh, you should be close to that. I think the last bit, honestly, if I was to change this, I guess, talisman, uh, change it to something else that doesn't have sockets, because if you notice, the ones up here, like this one, for instance, this is the one I was using. It doesn't have any, no matter how much you upgrade, it doesn't have any sockets, which I think is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. I think this is the best way to do it, though. And the, what's funny is level doesn't matter, so... I did take some time to kind of explore the outer area of Midgard. I, I didn't find anything interesting that was really worth recording. I just kind of ran around any of the chests that I didn't open before. I went back and got them. Uh, I'm not 100% done with it, but... I feel like I'll eventually get there. I think the worst part, everybody's saying, is get, getting all the ravens can be kind of time-consuming, but I'll get to that eventually. I'm going to take this Valkyrie out, and then I'm going to go place all the helmets, I uh, guess where the High Council is, and then see what happens. And I'm guessing I'll do the, the final, the final, final part <laughs> will be me taking down the Queen. I don't know what it's going to be like, but I figured I would do it like that. So, a, a, a pretty good series. Unless they add something new to the game, that might be it. I mean, I can explore as much as you guys want, but... I mean, there's, there's really not a whole lot to see after you beat the game. Uh, just kind of ran around, maybe venture into a new area. That's about all you can do. One thing I've noticed is after I beat the game, Amir doesn't talk near as much either. So, I'm hoping they add something to the game, like a new game plus... Anything. Will be awesome, so... We'll see what happens. So, but thank you guys. Like every time I uploaded this series, you guys just killed the like button. Really meant a lot to me. And just all the support and everything that you guys, I guess, I had shown to this series was uh, spectacular. So, all right. So I already got the travel gate or the mystic gateway, as I call. It. Let me make sure I got a legendary enchantment. Pretty sure I haven't used it in a while. Let's get you squared away, man. Oh, as far as upgrades, so you can upgrade anything at this point. Uh, but a lot of the stuff. After you get one, it really doesn't matter too much. I feel like there's no point in that, so. Resurrection Stone. Oh, we actually didn't have one. I went through it and spent all my experience on making every, I guess, runic. Oh, the one thing I did. Okay, now, so check this out. Look at the shield. Ah, oh, I can't show it to you. Let's see. Let me find. Where's the way I can show it to you guys? Maybe it's under weapons. Yeah, here, here we go. Alright, so... I didn't know you could change the skin on this. I don't know what, we, like, what we've actually been using, but this I actually got... So I went and I actually bought the... Whatever main edition it was. I actually bought it, and uh, they gave you a code for it. What's funny is I have an extra one. I might just give, give away to you guys, so... I don't know. Not really sure what it does besides... It gives you like a theme and other small things, like the art book. It was man, it's cool that they did that though. All right, here we go. I wish there were skins for everything now. I had no idea it was even in the game, you know. What's funny is this. This might even be like the easiest one out of the the, the eight Valkyries, and I just didn't know it, you know. I feel like the the game could really benefit though if they ever add a new new game plus. Like I thought about going back playing on a harder difficulty, but. The experience, I think that's kind of what The Last of Us and stuff would do. You had at least chapter selects. 
You can go back. I wish they had like a boss mode or something. Like you could just you fight the dragon, you fight all the different things. Okay, it's in there. I gotta remind myself to get the raven when I go in there too. Alright, so here's a chest, here's some Oh! Nice! You know, it's funny, the, the two areas where you farm stuff... Etch Crest of Tenacity, okay. Uh, the two areas where you farm stuff, so you get the Mist Echo farming, the Anchor of Fog, all that stuff, the things you craft the in-game gear with. Uh, that stuff, it's almost all, like, to me it seems like... After you get it's one good bathroom. set of gear, there's no point in going back in there. Mm. We can't just leave her like this, brother. Do not rush me, Ed. When we are prepared, I will attack. You know what? I might actually have a chance to get this, uh... <laughs> Probably heard my dog's ears flapping just now. I'll look for it later. It's gotta be... I'm probably looking right at it, don't even see it. Alright, so, um... Let's do this! Oh, shit! Now when you stack Vitality and Defense, you're like an absolute tank. Oh, it's just like the other one. Oh my goodness. Alright, so this is kind of like the very first one I took down. Ooh! You kidding me? Oh, there's a glitch right now. That little a animation. There's a glitch right now where... Apparently... If you get knocked down during that... That does so much damage. Look at the look at that, look at that overtime damage. Oh my goodness. Dang, that does some serious damage. I'm getting just clobbered right now. This thing's all about some grapple attacks. Here, let's try some of this. I don't fear for my life like I deal in the other ones. But... You know, I guess I could take some of them health blocks down. Uh, might have been a bad idea. Sometimes you can catch him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit! Yeah, you just gotta keep moving. Look at that. Triple grab. Are you kidding? What is that? Alright, we could end it on this. Doesn't do as much damage as it. Probably should, but still awesome that they put that in the game. Thanos is an absolute boss, alright? I want to end it on the heavy attack. Oh! That take a long time to charge. Let's just go ahead. That might be enough. There we go. Alright, it's over. We should get that perfect still as well from this. At least I hope we do. Freedom. Where is your queen? My queen? She did this to you. She's letting the dead take over Midgard. This cannot be. I didn't want to believe it either, milady. But we have to find her. Where is she? I can't say for sure. But the rock stole of Alkir's. If the Council of Eight are reunited, perhaps she will answer our call. Council of Eight. Looks like this was our last one. Aye, lad. On to the rope stole our Valkyrs then. If you remember, it's Ooh. next to the two oarsmen statues on the path we took to Thamur's chisel. This queen of yours, she is strong, yes? Stronger than these other Valkyries we have faced. That's putting it mildly, brother. Then we must prepare ourselves. 
All right, so we got the perfect still. We got the regular still. Uh, I want to check out that enchantment I got. What is this? Grips. Ooh, hold on. What is the current one I have? So I got strength, defense, vitality. This is strength, runic, cooldown. Okay, so one thing I have noticed, the Valkyrie set. I think I got the full set now. Gives you a lot of cooldown. It's, it's big on cooldown, so I don't know. All right, let's look around. It might take me a second, but I'm going to... Fine. If there is one in here, I I hope there is. All right, guys, I don't have to come back to it. I just man, I looked. I literally. I mean, I'm guessing there's one in here, and I just didn't see it. But I'm sure I'll see it when I'm editing. That's what's funny. I'm gonna see it when you guys probably see it. It's whatever. I can always fast travel back here and then get it again. All right. So I guess the only thing left to do is go place all these helmets. What what I've kind of noticed about the game though, the what the game does is it'll give you materials so to craft or i guess to level up the final from like seven plus to eight on all the epic gear uh what you have to do is essentially get these three different materials it's like perfect ore of the realm perfect whatever pristine i don't know it's, it's like pristine something i don't know what it is let me just show you like the resources yeah because it's they, they they give you enough yes yeah, these things right here so you get 11 every time you get it you just go do some side stuff and it'll tell you where to find them. One's at like Stone Falls, the other one's over there in the Iron Cove. And I forgot what the third one is, but it tells you on the actual material itself. You have to have those, but the game gives you enough if you wanted to craft every piece of armor. That's why I'm wondering about this perfect still stuff, so let me show you. I know we just got it, but I'm just like curious now. Alright, what'd you break? Alright, so we can... Yeah, so you need that other still for this is the grip. And I'm guessing, let me, let me just show you like an, an example. So I'll upgrade this and the next, it might say I need a perfect. Let me see. I'm just guessing. Yeah, so now that's kind of what I'm wondering. Oh, it didn't actually bring out Runic. Runic is like the best thing you can get, I feel like. All right, so these, it looks like you need Mist Echoes, the Smoldering Ember, the Haze Weave, obviously. But the Valkyrie, check that out. Pristine or the realm. See, you get so many of those. Oh, the last you piece you get in the mist area. Go do the high cancel thing. That should complete that whole favor. I don't know if we have to fight the queen immediately. I was gonna do like an extra video for it, but I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when we get there. No, there should be a lot of dialogue whenever you put each helmet in. And after this, man, I don't know what to do. It's like I want to keep playing this game because I would like to get 100% like platinum trophy and all that. I haven't done that on many games. I think the only two I've actually done it on are like <laughs> Tekken 7 and Destiny 2 maybe. But that's because it just kind of happens that way. But the ones where you actually got to find stuff, I usually just kind of skip out on it. But I didn't want to make a video of me finding all the ravens because that might be kind of boring. So... But it would be so sick if they had like a boss battle mode where you can fight. Even if there's only a couple of boss fights in the game, you could fight them again. You know, make them make something kind of cool out of that. All right, so I know where we're going. This is right over here. It's where the two big statues have their axes. I think crossed. I think they're axes. Could be wrong. Yeah, it's right here. All right, let's see what happens. Moment of truth, guys. Alright, so two of the... I guess I'll just put them anywhere. Gunnar, mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task. She took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course. But Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the Fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. Kind of learning about the Valkyries as we go. That's kind of cool. All right, so this whole side will be complete. Nice to hear Ramir talking again. Ah, Gondu. Beautiful Gondu. 
Damn. Huh? That's it? Beautiful going to? No story or anything? Uh, oh, sorry, lad. The sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. You guys gonna go ahead and put in the next one. I think I'm gonna put all of them in, and then, uh... I'll probably stop the video, and then when we come back, I'll fight the queen. And that might do it! I don't know. This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they are most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. That's cool we get to kind of like learn about all this stuff. Ah, here we have Air, the healer. A Valkyrie healer? Strange. Air was strange as a matter of fact. Very quiet, very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, Air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods. And even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. Wait, what is this? It's just here the whole time. Treasure map. Oh, wow. Legendary check. Uh, taking damage during a rate time reduces damage taken by 30. Oh, wow. The last place said, look, that's the last place I looked, shit. Well, well, Hilda, mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living and sewing some up herself from time to time. She lived for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free. Hmm. Alright, last but not least. Oh, that's a cool helmet. It's probably, probably like my favorite out of the bunch. Old Rune. Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain. She fell defending him during a reaver attack. Old Rune was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behavior amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up a Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Orun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian. Alright, well on that note, looks like we got a tear right there, so... I guess when we come back next time, I'll see what's in there, and that might do it. So thank you guys for all the support. Thank you, Sony, for the game, and I will catch you all very soon. Take it easy, guys.